Hello. If you're watching this video, chances are you have a cruise booked. I just wanted to share a few things that I like to bring on my cruise with me. Uh, not must-haves, but just uh, some things that I personally like to bring to have and enjoy in my cabin. All right, the first thing that I want to say that is a must-have for me, a fan. That's right, a fan. Uh, my husband and I, we cannot sleep decent without having a fan. So, with that being said, the Carnival cabins, or most cruise cabins, they don't have many uh, outlets in the room. Uh, the last one that we were on just uh, last week, it had one outlet in the whole cabin. So, we always bring an extension cord just a basic dollar store extension cord. It cannot have a surge protector on it. If it has a surge protector on it, they will confiscate it and not let you bring it on the ship. So I'm just go get you a cheap extension cord. You'll thank yourself later uh, to, to be able to charge your phones and uh, all the extra things that you know need to be charged. Uh, let's see. A glass um, you know any kind of glass that you want to bring cup uh, to bring around the ship to drink you can put your own uh, drinks in it and bring it to your dining at night if you want to it's totally up to you um, if you order a drink that comes with a straw on the ships these days they have those candy straws so I will tell everybody to bring your own personal straws um just go buy you a pack of straws or they got the reusable straws that you can use these days because the candy straws just got i mean they get wilted and they just they're horrible so uh, that's another thing i'm trying to make this video quick um always bring some band-aids i always bring this little travel thing it has our chapstick in it uh just some little wipes and along with band-aids and there uh a poncho this uh, is a must to me because you never know when it's going to rain. And if you buy one of these on the ship, it's five plus dollars. So you can go to Dollar Tree and get one for a dollar and take care of that. But uh, all right, motion sickness. A lot of people get motion sickness. Uh, we don't have a problem with it, but I still, I bring this on every cruise because you never know what kind of waters you're going to get into. And even though you're not, you, you say you're not motion sickness or you, you don't get motion sickness, that ship can rock pretty rocky sometimes. And uh, this is a must. I bring it just in case I've only used it maybe a few times that we've cruised out of all the times that we've cruised. All right, Lysol. Bring you a can of Lysol just to spray your cabin down, just to make sure you take care of all the germs because you don't know who cruised in that cabin before. You did, so just spray your stuff down. Take care of them viruses before you catch it. Uh, Tom's. Now, you know when you're on a cruise, you eat a lot, and sometimes you eat late, and it doesn't agree with your stomach at night, or you wake up with heartburn the next day. So, take care of that problem and bring you some Tums, okay? I bring Tylenol. You never know when that headache's going to hit, backache. Some people get hungover. You just never know, okay? Uh, hand sanitizer to keep in the bathroom. You know, just a, something that we bring. Uh, things that you can bring. You can bring your own coffee mate. Uh, it has to be unopened. It has to be a new thing unopened. You can bring snacks on the cruise with you if you have children, uh, you know, and they want, you know, you're not sure they're going to like everything that's uh, on the ship. You want to bring their little favorite snacks, you can. Again, it has to be unopened. Um, you can bring soda, a 12 pack of canned soda per person in your cabin, okay? So if you got four people in there, all four of you can bring a 12 pack of soda. Again, it has to be unopened. Uh, and it doesn't have to be soda. It can be water, canned water, uh, canned drinks, non-alcoholic canned drinks. Um, if you are a drinker and you want to bring a bottle of wine, you can bring 
one bottle of wine per person in the cabin 21 years or older. Um, and if you're going to do that, I would suggest bringing a corkscrew uh, to use in your cabin uh, to, you know, to be able to open your wine. Um, other things that you can bring, everybody's always wanting to know um, about, you know, what they can eat on the ship. Once you get on the ship, there's plenty of things to eat on the ship. There's uh, the Lido Deck Buffet, uh, Guy's Burgers. This is just carnival carnival that I'm uh, speaking of right now. Uh, they have the um, blue iguana. Uh, There's like a burrito station. There's the walk um, that has all kind of stuff. They got the snack shack, uh, the seafood shack. Uh, that's just a few of the things that you can uh, do once you get on the ship. Uh, I would say the first thing to go do is uh, we go put our luggage in our cabin. Um, stick it in the closet and then we go up and eat our lunch and then as soon as lunch is over we go take care of our mustard drill and a lot of people are like well what is a mustard drill well mustard drill is something that you have to do before the ship can sail everyone has to go check into their mustard station and again normally that is on your uh ship card your sign and sail card It'll say muster station, whatever. This is B on this one, but it's muster station, whatever. And uh, everyone in the cabin has to go up there and uh, check in to that process. And once that process is done, you are free to go have fun in the sun and enjoy your vacation. So uh, most of the time, uh, if you're not platinum or diamond or in a suite, you have to wait until 1.30 to get into your cabin. So just go look around and uh, do what you want to do. Uh, you know, look at the ship and see what it has to offer and just enjoy your time. Oh, and one thing, when you get on the ship, you're going to have so many people walking around with big trays of drinks and it's like the special of the day and all this. It costs money. If you get one of those, it costs money. So don't be one of those people that you're steady grabbing a drink off of a tray and then the bill comes and you're like, well, I didn't drink this. I didn't buy this. I didn't buy this. Well, you did. You just didn't realize you did. Uh, so, yeah. Be aware of the little uh, things like that. So, all right, I'm going to finish this one up, this video up today. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask. Please follow us, uh, Darlene and Bubba's Adventures. Uh, we have TikTok, we have YouTube, and our Facebook. Uh, please like and follow us. Um, and if you want to book a cruise, give me a call, 225-754-2190. Time to unwind travel. Y'all have a good day.